Hey folks, today what I want to do is show you how to do a very simple pop-up overlay in Adobe After Effects. One that looks like this. I mean, we often use these when we're explaining things and we want to bring attention to a certain word or phrase or topic or chapter, whatever. All right. And so these sort of pop-up overlays, it's kind of cool, huh? They come in handy. And you know what? They are really, really easy to make. So let me show you how. Okay. So I'm over here in what? Adobe After Effects. And what I want to do is first hit new composition. And I'll go ahead and just give it a generic name, overlay. And all the settings that I have here are what I want. So I'll go ahead and use the present uh, um, parameters, I guess it is. So uh, HDTV 1080p, 24 frames per second. That's what I want. Now I can change all that, but that's actually where I want it, okay? So with 1920 by 1080, fantastic square pixels, frame rate, I can change that, but I don't want to. I like 24 frames per second. Um, I recommend you stick with 24 or 30. Maybe I'll do another video later on where I tell you the difference between frame rates and where you want to use them and so forth. And then I can set a duration for how long do I want this um, overlay to go. And um, you can change all this later on, but I'm just going to go ahead and set it all right now. Uh, this one is going to go for 10 seconds. The way it goes is hours, hours, minutes, seconds, and then frames. All right, but it doesn't really matter. We can just go ahead and do 10 seconds. The background color is black. It doesn't matter. I don't know why they have that option, but you know, somebody out there smarter than me, like everyone, you can chime in on the comments and tell me why background color would matter. And we hit okay. All right, so now you notice it's, well, what does it matter? Well, you know, I have, I guess I can turn on black the background color here by clicking here, but I actually want a transparent background, right? I want this thing to pop up um, over video. And so I don't want a background. I want it transparent so everything is set there properly. If for some reason you wanted to toggle, you could, but I've never done that before. Okay, so now what this does is this bad boy down here is actually a scrubber. It scrubs across the 10 seconds. So if I were to get out of the way here for a moment, you would see that over here it goes to 10 seconds. So this is, this is just going through 10 seconds of footage. Okay, so I'm going to come on back because I'm just too dang pretty not to be here. So we've got ourselves 10 seconds of, of footage. All right, well, now we want this pop up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this um, text tool and just go ahead and click right there. Doesn't matter. And here's my overlay. I'll just type overlay, okay? Now, in terms of font and color and outline and so forth, it's default of what I used last time, right? But, you know, you guessed it. You can go ahead and highlight that. And you can come on over here to character, right? We can change the font, right? And uh, we can change the color, right? So let's just go ahead and, and make it all white. All white, just like that and uh, the color is fine. And then when it comes to the outline, well, we can go ahead and make it no outline. All right, so now it's just straight, you know, and I'll tell you what, we'll even make it, we'll make it black just to make it easier to see, Lon. Don't be all fancy with these folks. Just show them how it's done. I hate it whenever videos try to fine tune things when I'm watching. It's like, I don't care. Just show me how it's done. All right, so now I have the word overlay. Yahoo! All right, um, I can go ahead and grab this little selection tool up here and I can move this bad boy wherever I want. Okay, so here's the thing. 
I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I'm, I want it to pop up. I want it to come up and then I want it to go back down, right? Right now, this overlay, this red thing down here, this red bar, this represents where overlay shows up, this, this, this text, right? So for example, if I were to drag this over to say like 12 frames, and then move the scrubber over, it's gone. Well, that's because the, the, that particular layer isn't there, right? And I could do the same thing over here. So I could say, oh, it appeared. Oh, it disappeared. It appeared. It disappeared, right? And if I hit the space bar, right, that plays it. Oh, it appeared. That's fantastic. And I'm not going to wait 10 seconds for it to disappear. You get it, okay. But I don't want it to just simply appear. I want it to come up. All right, so what are we gonna do? Well, I have that more or less centered. I can, I, I'm not gonna worry about that. I want to come here and I wanna talk about the positioning of this overlay, right? Now, well, check this out. If you click this little carrot over here, you can see all the ways you can transform make this text field do things, right? We anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity, all kinds of stuff, right? And we'll I'll show you that stuff later on. But right now, all I care about is position, all right? Now, I could go ahead and just start working with position with all these others here, but I don't like having all this in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that go away. And then I am just going to hit the letter P. And now position is the only one that shows up. Kind of nice. All right. So I say, okay, well, this is where I want my overlay, where I want that text to be, right? When it comes up, I want it to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this little stopwatch here. And all of a sudden right there, you see that little blue diamond that's a keyframe i knew once why it's called a keyframe i don't know anymore why it's called a keyframe it's called a keyframe all right so that just simply says hey at that position it's going to take that place well now hold on it's still there either way well that's because we need to go earlier and we need to put in a new keyframe when it's down below. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold down the shift key so that it doesn't move sideways back and forth. It just goes down, right? And then you see it just created another keyframe there because I had moved the scrubber over to where I wanted it. Now check this out. When I hit play, it comes up. Not bad, right? Now, let's say that we say, hey, you know what? That's kind of slow. I want it to really pop up. All right, well, that's easy enough. We just put the keyframes closer to each other. That means less time um, passes, and yet it takes the same distance, right? Ergo, it goes faster. That's not bad, right? Overlay, okay. So now, what I can do, it to, I want it to come back down, right? Well, there's a couple ways I can do that. I'm going to show you the slow way, and then I'm going to show you the fast way. All right, slow way is I want it to go back down right about here at six seconds. So I take my scrubber over there, and I hit this little diamond right here to say, hey, put in a new keyframe. Now, since this keyframe and that keyframe are the same position, that just means that in between these two keyframes in here, it doesn't move because these two keyframes are saying, hey, during this time, don't move. Ah, okay. So then, well, what I can do is I can move it on over, right? And I can go ahead and grab it, hold down the shift key so that it doesn't go back and forth, move it down. It created a new keyframe. And now, lo and behold, it disappears, right? So it's like up and yay, okay, overlay, fantastic, woo! -hoo! And then bye bye. All right. Now I told you. Oh, and check that out. I was in the way, so I'm going to move that over a little bit. 
Sorry about that. I was in the way. Okay. Now that's one way you can do it. But now I'm going to show you another way that I super like. All right. So I'm going to delete these. What I'm going to do is I am going to copy these. So I go ahead and select these. Remember, this is the one that said come up. And this is the one that says where it is. I am going to copy these two. So I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, control C for copy over here. And then over here, I am going to do control V and paste. I'm on a PC, so it's control V. But you're like, well, now hold on. It, that doesn't work because now it starts to move down and then it gets all weird. Ah, check this out. We want to reverse the keyframes. Now you can do it manually or you can go ahead and toggle, do keyframe assistant and uh, time reverse keyframes. Boom, now they're reversed. So this is an exact mirror image of this. So when it says, hey, you're invisible, come on up, that's great. Now you're visible, hey, go on down, an exact match, okay? All right, so that's what we have there. Now I am gonna go ahead and change the color here because I'm gonna put it in something you know, to kind of show it off. Now I can go ahead and change the color. And yeah, you can put outlines and you can do all kinds of fancy things with the text. All right. So now what do we do with this? Well, there's a few things we could do. We could go ahead and export this, but we don't need to. Let me show you what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save it. And just for grins and giggles, I'll go ahead and, and do overlay. And I'll put it on my desktop just so I can kind of show you what we're doing. All right, so now it's saved. All right, bye-bye. We don't need it anymore. All right, now what are we gonna do? Well, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, all right? And I have this video that I'm working on. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the uh, footage on over here and then drag it here. There's another video where I've shown how to do this, right? I'll put it in the description below if you've never done it before. So now here's this video, right? And I have yet to edit the video, but that's fine. I don't need to edit it, but I can show you how this, this uh, overlay works. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the overlay that I just created over here. And then it's gonna say, well, now what composition do you want? Oh, well, I want this composition called overlay. Remember, we named it overlay. I should have done two different names so that'd be more clear, but the composition is there. So I get, okay. So now I have this composition here and I can just drag this on over this, um, this footage here, right? So if I make this a little bigger, right? I held down the um, Alt key and then scrolled with the mouse to do that. Um, now, when I hit play, we can, okay, it's going along, going along. Well, what happens when it gets to this? Well, there's our overlay. It pops on up, it says hello, and then it disappears, okay? Now, here's the thing. So that's, that's all it is. That's all it is. You now have a pop-up overlay that tells your audience, tells your students, whatever, and you're set to go. Now, here's a cool thing, all right? Um, let's say, for example, that you wish you had made that overlay longer or you um, want to change the word of it or something or you found a misspelling. Well, you can go ahead and open it back up. So, you know, lawn, lawn's over, oh, come on, lawn, lawn's overlay. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the centering and so forth. This is just an example. You save it. All right, go ahead and save it. You come on back over here and uh, oh my gosh, it changed. That is so cool, right? Because Adobe Illustrator, no, Adobe Premiere Pro is the same platform as Adobe After Effects. And so they're all in the same system. They all talk to each other and... I, there's an official word for how it all works, but um, that's how it works, right? And you can extend the time of it. You can change it. You can change the colors. You can make 
any changes you want to the overlay and you're totally good to go. All right, so not too shabby. There you go, it's as easy as that. All right, and now, hang on, wrong button. I'm in OBS and so I hit wrong buttons. It's, oh, shut up, you. My video over there is still going. Anyway, thanks for joining me and uh, have fun with this and we'll talk again soon.